Hi, and welcome to Lesson 17.3 on, well, really, what we're talking about is the slope and the y-intercept of a line. And we're going to be using these equations here, y equals mx plus b, to graph this equation of a line. And if you remember, the slope from a previous lesson is m, and the y-intercept is b. And we're going to use this to quickly graph our point, uh, our y-intercept, 0b, and our slope to find our second point of the line. So, what we got is this. We have an example, number one, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit more here to show you that we're using, again, y equals mx plus b. And m, in this case, we can see here that m is the slope. So m is 2 thirds. The x, all right, we're not going to use that. We're really just going to use the m and the b. The, here in the equation it says plus b. And here we can see it's minus 1. Well, what we could recognize this as minus 1 is the same thing as adding a negative 1. So there, we could see y equals mx plus b. b is negative 1. And that's where we're going to start. So in our equation here, we can see that. Uh, we have negative 1, that's where we begin our work rate. Oh, I'm sorry, negative 1 right there. So 0, negative 1, that is our y-intercept, and then from here we use the 2 thirds, the slope. The rise is 2, and the run is 3. So from here, the rise is 2, up 2, and over 3 to make our second dot, and it's linear, which means it is a straight line, and we just draw a straight line. Now, what we could do is we could go up 2 and over 3, but we could also go down 2, down two and back three and we're still on the same line. So we can have three points done and that's the graph of y equals two-thirds x plus minus one. And we have a second example here where we have um, our y-intercept. Again I'm going to write y equals uh, mx plus b. Now this time b is a positive. Okay, that's pretty easy to see. B is positive 3. And we have, what, this is going to be, if, if that's 4, then that's 2. And 3 is right there. So it's 3 is the y-intercept. And from that y-intercept, we use our slope of negative 5, so ne down 5, into the right 2. So 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and to the right 2. And if you go down 5 into the right 2, you can go up 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and to the left 2. And that's all in the same line. Done deal. Super easy. And we could note here that the line passes through all these points here. 0, 3, and then another point, it passes through, what is that, 2, negative 2, right there, 2, negative 2, and it passes also through if I go up 5 and to the left 2, that's negative 2, positive 8. So using our equation, which is right here, using our equation here, we can easily plot three points, or as many points as we want. We just have to repeat the slope. And now we have, uh, <coughs> excuse me, and now we have a drawing conclusions question. How can you use the slope of a line to predict the way the line will be slanted? Well, I would say a, um, a positive slope um, will be slanted uh, upwards from left to right. And a negative slope would be downwards, slanted downwards from left to right. I'm going to fix this little S right there because it's bugging me. <laughs> okay, so let's continue with graphing these equations here. And I want you to try, see if you can graph that one. So I would first recognize that I have a positive 1 for a uh, y-intercept, and then I'm going to use the slope of 1 half. Slow, so I have positive 1, positive 1 is right here, and the uh, m, so this is the b, 
and the m is one half so that goes up one up one and over two and there it is and I could go down one and back two and there's my line sketch it out uh, what up one over two I can keep on going you just keep using the slope down one and back two easy okay and we have this one and the M M is negative three and the B is four so I use four first and the M is negative three so if slope is negative three over one so that means I go down three into the right one down three one two three into the right one I can keep doing that one two three into the right one and there you go there is the graph of the line so we're gonna analyze the graph now so we're gonna get into some real-world situations such as Ken Oh, he's exercising here and he's burning 2,400 calories by taking some brisk walks. Here's our equation. Uh, y equals negative 300x plus 2,400 2, represents the number of calories Ken has left to burn after so many hours. Okay, so here's our equation and we're going to ask to graph this. And we have the slope here, negative 300 over 1. Well, we can double these. We can double 300 and double 1. We can triple 300 and triple 1. And we have a slope of this. It's going to help us on our graph because our graph is moving by, what, 600 at a time? or Yeah, 600 at a time. So we go down 900 and over 3. That's the same thing as going down 300 and over 1. So they go down 900 and to the right 3. Oh, see, look at that. That's 300, but see, this is 3 hours right here. So you have to make sure that you understand that each of these is what? 1, 2, 300. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, 8. Yeah, that's 6. So 300, 600. Yeah, 900. There we go. So each one of those is 903. So anyway, draw a line through the points. And you can keep going three, six, nine, and then one, two, three. See so that slope keeps on going. Uh, what you could do though is you could go down three hundred and over one hour. I mean that works too. So there it is. That's not so bad. And we have part B here. After how many hours of walking will Ken have six hundred calories left to burn? And after how many hours will he reach his weekly goal? So we have to locate 600 calories on the y-axis because that's how many are remaining. So 600 is right here. I'll zoom in a bit. Oops, no I won't. Now I will. So uh, we're going to find 600 on the y-axis, done. And then we move over here and that means it's going to be six hours right there. So Ken will have 600 calories left to burn after six hours. And to reach his weekly goal, uh, when the number of calories, he will have reached his goal when the number of calories left to burn is zero. So when this goes all the way down to zero, that's when he's reached his goal. And it looks like that's going to be eight hours right there. So what if Ken decides to modify his exercise plans? by example two, slowing his speed. So before it was, what, negative 300, now it's negative 200. So he's not burning as many calories each hour. Let's graph the equation. We have still 2,400 2, right there, and we go down 200 and over one. See, so down 200 and over one. So um, down 200 and over 1 is the same as down 400 and over 2 hours. And I'm going to, let's see, because uh, that is 6, yeah, uh, which is the same as down um, for 3 hours, that would be down 600. All right? So, uh, I, I do that because from 2,400 to 1,800, that's six hours. So that means, oh, I can do, yeah, so 600 every three. And so we have, uh, what, 600 and over three hours. It looks like that. 
So if I go down 600 and to the right three, so let's go down one. So that means 300 every uh, every one of these uh, vertical bars. So down two, three, right? right? Right there. Okay, so it looks like that is our line. And how does the graph of the new equation compare to the graph in example two? Well, let's see. Let's see if I can bring this out. I'm going to try something new here. I'm going to cut this stuff out. I'm going to do this. Yes. Okay, good. And that gets moved over here so I can easily compare them. Oh, isn't that nifty? Right there. And I'm going to zoom in so we can compare these. It looks like um, it looks like this one here is steeper going uh, down and this one's uh, <laughs> flatter. Okay, so uh, let's see how we can word that here. How does the graph of the new equation and compare? So um, the the new oops uh, new equation Uh, has a more gradual decline and yeah I would say that's exactly what I would be saying about that and uh, will can have to exercise more or less to meet his goal and Ken will have to exercise more to meet, oops, meet only has two E's, his goal. Um, Oh, you know what? I should, I should, uh, which will be, um, let's see. So how long will it be actually? If I keep going with this, I'll hit zero. So what I go down two and to the right, wait, down two into the right three, down two, one, two, three, down to one, two, three, right there. So it will be 12 out, which will be 12 hours. Okay. And suppose Ken decides instead of walking, he will jog, and the jogging burns 600, out, 600 calories per hour. How do you think this would change the graph? Uh, this new graph. will be steeper than the original uh, at uh, 300 calories per hour. Yeah, because right there, that, that means it would be uh, what the, it would be y equals negative 600 x plus 2400 and there you go that is what you got to know about graphing these equations uh, with y equals mx plus b and uh, and real world situations thanks for watching